Did you know we have over 140 themes you can choose from in Funshine Digital? You can choose any of them, anytime you like. Let me show you how. First, be sure you're logged into your Funshine Digital account in edit mode and your calendar is blank for the next two weeks. If you've selected to automatically load your lesson plans each month, then your calendar will not have blank weeks. You'll need to go back into the My Account page, select Manage My Calendar Preferences, and uncheck the Yes box to auto-load your lesson plans. Then, you'll need to go back to your calendar and clear the lesson plans where you want to place the new theme. There are two ways to choose a new theme. You can select the Click to Choose Calendar button on your lesson plans page, then click Search Themes. This will take you to the Themes page. You can also get to the Themes page by clicking the Yearly Themes link at the top of the page. Let's look at the Themes page now. The Themes page is organized by month down the left side, by year across the top, and by age group within the grid. Preschool themes and monthly content breakdown are on the left, and infant and toddler themes with content breakdown are on the right. Each year we introduce the content, which includes letters, numbers, colors, and shapes, in the same order. This makes selecting a different theme for your lesson plans easier. Of course, you can use the themes in any order you choose at any time, but the yearly alignment of content presentation is helpful if you're just looking to make a quick switch of themes. Let me show you what I mean. We're currently in the month of October. The preschool themes are introducing the letters D, E, and F, numbers 4, 5, and 6, the colors orange and black, and the triangle shape. There are two themes in every month, so if you'd like to choose a different theme for your preschool or for your infant toddler calendar, you can click on a different year tab to do so. Let's click another year now. The October themes for 2019 are Mischievous Mice and On the Farm. These themes introduce the same content as the ones in the current year. You can preview a theme by clicking its title. This is the theme preview page. It shows the theme title, the number of days of activities, a theme summary, the theme content, three sample activities, and a list of activity titles by day down below. If this looks like a theme you'd like to use in your class, click the date you'd like the theme to start in the date dropdown and then click Create Calendar. Now the new theme shows in your lesson plans. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. All of our contact information is at the bottom of every Funshine Express page. Have a great day!